the dusty plains of Xylo III, where three suns beat down mercilessly, lived the Zorgons. Unlike other spacefaring species, the Zorgons didn't bow to deities of fire or wind, but to something far more peculiar. A vintage 1950s refrigerator named Fridgezilla. Fridgezilla wasn't just any appliance. It was a chrome-plated monument. It's humming a sacred hymn, its ice dispenser, a holy grail. The Zorgans believed Fridgezilla held the key to eternal chill, a paradise where ice cream flowed freely and popsicles sprouted from the ground. Their high priest, Zorgo the Zany, sporting a colander as a crown, would lead daily chants, O oh, Fridgezilla, grant us frosty treats, keep our smoothies ever sweet. The Zorgans, clad in mismatched 50s apparel, scavenged from ancient earth probes, danced around Fridgezilla, their antennae bobbing in rhythm. Things were peaceful, until one day Fridgezilla's light flickered a chilling omen. Panic erupted. Zorgo the Zany declared it a sign of Fridgezilla's displeasure. We must appease the mighty appliance, he boomed. The Zorgons, ever resourceful, concocted a plan. They built a giant sundae using meteor dust as sprinkles and a comet tail as whipped cream. As they presented their offering, Fridgezilla's light sputtered back on. The Zorgons cheered, convinced they'd appeased their god. Unknown to them, a loose wire had caused the flicker. The real reason Fridgezilla's light returned was a visiting spaceship, its energy signature momentarily interfering with the ancient appliance. But the Zorgans were happy. They saw Fridgezilla's revival as a sign of their devotion. They even started a new ritual, the Great Defrosting, where they'd sing carols to Fridgezilla while wearing oven mitts, a custom they'd picked up from Earth manuals. One day, a curious human explorer stumbled upon the Zorgans. He was greeted by Zorgo the Zani, who, mistaking him for a fellow Fridgezilla worshipper, exclaimed, Welcome, brother. Join us in our sacred rituals. The explorer, bewildered but amused, joined in. He even helped them fix Fridgezilla's broken light switch by simply flipping it. The Zorgans, eternally grateful, declared him the Chosen One, showering him with gifts of space-dried bananas and glow-in-the-dark antennae. News of the Fridgezilla worshippers spread, making the Zorgons an intergalactic oddity. But the Zorgons didn't care. They had their faith, their rituals, and their unwavering belief in the power of a vintage refrigerator. After all, who needs a boring old space deity when you have a chrome-plated god that dispenses ice cream sometimes? So the Zorgans continued their quirky ways, a testament to the fact that faith can be found in the most unexpected places and that even the most absurd beliefs can bring joy and community. And who knows, maybe somewhere out there, another species worships a toaster, proving that the universe is truly a fridge full of strange and wonderful things.